Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Red Dead 2 video and today I bring you 10 plus tips that you need to know. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here, and enjoy Red Dead videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I can't promise you Red Dead fiends out there that you don't know about some of these, but hopefully there's at least one tip here which will help you out, so let's go. Okay, so something that irritates me, I get into a fight, I get punched in the face, and I drop my hat and forget to pick it back up, meaning I spend the rest of the day running around in the sun burning my head. Well, there is a super easy way to retrieve your hat. All you have to do is simply stand next to your horse, holding the left bumper and tapping that right bumper to bring up that horse wheel, and boom, select your hat. Simple. Okay, so a simple trick I recently found out which saves you a little time, and it's a quicker way of pulling up your map instead of pressing start and selecting it. All you have to do is simply hold that start button and your map will pop up. Another tip guys, did you know you can melee on your horse by kicking? So if you're running alongside other horse riders, you can kick the shit out of them. Like those good old road rash days. I know a lot of you younger kids will not remember that game. So to kick while riding your horse, simply hold B or circle and just kick, kick, kick away. A tip for you pouters out there. If you get your hands on a legendary animal pout and you misplace it in the wild, which trust me is easily done, it automatically goes to the trapper. So rest assured guys, you will not lose that pout, which is a great addition because they can be pretty damn hard to collect. Okay, so did you guys know about warning shots? So you can walk into a crowd of people and scare the shit out of them via doing a warning shot where you shoot up into the air. It's easily done. Simply pull out your gun, hold the left trigger and press up on the d-pad. This is seriously useful for like I said, warning shots or intimidating people. Intimidating witnesses, it really works, try it out. Ok so moving on and as you guys know you can go into first person view via pressing that back button or select button, whichever you prefer to call it. The button to enter the cinematic camera. Where you can tap this button and you'll go into first person which for many is what they prefer. But even with this angle the weapon upon aiming it still isn't like that classic first person you still seem to be shooting from the hip as you ain't aiming down those sights. Well people you can actually aim down those sights and it's really easy to do and it makes things much easier also. All you have to do is be in that first person view and press down on the d-pad. Aim that weapon and you will be aiming down its sights. And there you go guys, enjoy. Okay and moving on and another tip, for you looters out there, instead of constantly pressing that loot button which is square or X, you can just constantly hold it. This makes things much faster when you are looting numerous items, instead of pressing and holding and releasing, pressing and holding and releasing, you can just press and hold and walk to each individual item. Ok so moving on and probably my favourite thing I've found out in the game so far and that is hands free travelling without the fast travel tram crap. Which yes in many instances would be quicker but my method is great for when you want to go and do something and let you basically hands free travel to any location. So mark a place on the map you want to go to, mount your horse and find the nearest road. Then while riding your horse simply hold A upon walking on the road or X if you're a PlayStation user and then simply press and hold that back button which takes you into that cinematic camera mode. And there you have it guys, you can then put your controller down, do what you want to do and your horse will take you to your destination. Awesomeness. Ok so moving on and did you know you can save stamina for both your horse and with Arthur while running at full speed? What you have to do is time your button pressing with the horse's gallops. If timed right you will save loads of stamina, meaning you can travel further without stopping. Great for when you are on the run for those police too. Ok so lastly guys, are you a victim of wearing masks to hide your identity and it not working? Well guys I have the solution, the problem I have figured is, if you try and break the law within places you are already known, people know you via the clothes you are wearing and the horse you are riding. So even if you have a mask hiding your face and your identity, it actually doesn't hide your identity and you will get coloured. So what you have to do is change your clothes and your horse before going on a mad one, 
I suggest guys on your horse as you know you can select an outfit to put on whenever you want swap between your main outfit and whatever outfit you want to do probably make a crime outfit put this on via your horse's saddle as you know you can easily do by holding LB by holding the right bumpers going across to the horse wheel and it should be the bottom of the screen and simply just press one of the triggers to roll between the costumes you have there so have yourself a crime costume. So when you don't want to be that low abiding citizen and you want to cause havoc and rub the heck out of people and absolutely everything, wear that crime outfit. And don't forget to put on that mask too. Once you are done people, simply get out of the area, make sure you haven't been spotted or been chased. Simply switch back to your standard costume, take off that mask and you are sorted people. And it is as simple as that guys. And guys, that is it for this video. If you guys have any tips you'd like to share, do so by leaving a comment down below. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy Red Dead videos, be sure to subscribe. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the